Well, hello. So glad you could join me today in my studio. I love you to come by. I, I love people who watch me paint. And since you've come by, I'm going to do a few little uh, sketches for you. And then we're going to put them all together. How's that? Okay. And uh, I'm so happy to be here. It's awful nice of you to come. Now, uh, I'm going to use two or three, there's two or three ways we can put this stuff down, okay? And if you go to my website, uh, which is www.chuckmclaughlin.com, which will be in the city of Greensboro, North Carolina, 341 MLK Boulevard, you will see all kinds of these these videos going on because they're going to start going on and my man is going to put them on. They'll be going on every weekend. You'll see videos and uh, and you'll be able to write us or call us or um, send it by pigeon. If you've got a question, send it by pigeon. I usually get them. And um, it's hard to get them back, though, because I can't get the right pigeon. Anyway, uh, I'm glad you're here. And I'm just excited about doing this whole, whole thing. I've never had so much to room, to work to uh, room to work in. It's beautiful. So, in each one of these, I want to do a different texture. Uh, brick, or stone, wood, grass, hay, whatever. You know what I mean? I want to do different textures. And I'm going to use a soft hair brush called a muslin. And this muslin is nothing more than an old sign writer's brush that I used to be. And uh, they've turned it into a uh, artist brush. And we used to letter the market signs with these. And if uh, Mikey wants me to do it, I'll show you how we used to do it. But anyway, here we go. Now, I'm not going to get all excited about this. I'm not going to, um, this is not going to the Louvre, uh, I don't expect. I, uh, I just feel that I want to just take it easy and uh, see what I can come out with. Um, I'm not going to draw anything with a pencil. I'm just going to draw everything I want with this brush, okay? And we may change tools, but uh, uh, let's see how we let's see how we do here, huh? I think we'll do all right. This was an old place that I saw up in Pennsylvania. I go to Pennsylvania quite a bit, teach up there. And notice too how I'm holding the brush. See, sideways. I want it to run. And while it's wet, I'm going to drop a little bit of sienna. That's a little ochre. And I'm going to put a little burnt sienna and let that, let it kind of run a little bit. I don't want to, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to make it too perfect. See, that's going to run. See how it's running now? Oh, do I love that. And look at this. Look at this texture up in here. See these little, um, I guess they're called knots or holes. Let's call them holes for now, all right? And then, uh, see, I'm all excited about this now. I know what that's going to look like. Now, I know what some people, you go to do this and you say, but the water's going to run all over the place. It can't go anywhere. The paint can't go anywhere where there's no water. If you have water all over the, the paper, it's certainly going to go all over the paper. But I don't. I use dry paper most of the time because I can control the water. And that's our big problem. So usually beginners, I like to see them use... Uh, dry paper because that way they can control the water, okay? 
said, fair enough. And it might be maybe close to fall here, so we'll put a little bit of a, how about a little bit of green in there? Hmm? What do you think? Isn't that nice? I'm not putting blades of grass. I'm just putting green. See, because there's always greens growing up outside these buildings because this building used to be used by Captain Jack, and Captain Jack died and his son died, so the building just stay in there. Don't you see? I don't know what they're going to do with it. Probably make a restaurant or a hotel out of it. I don't know. But uh, I used to get my car fixed there. Never did work right, though. But he was a nice guy. Never charged too much. Uh, it's probably because he couldn't do too much. That's probably what it was. But you see now, I like what I've got here. I'm going to make this a little bit more to the outside. I'm going to put a little bit more stuff out here. Now, what do we do to, to, to calm that down or to make that? Yeah, that's what I like. I like that, and I like this over here. Oh, we've got some of that green in there. Look at that. Now, wait till that dry. You're going you're gonna to be jumping up and down. I hope that lady from, I hope that lady from um, Virginia gets this tape. She'll throw away the crutches and run. She just she just goes bananas. Yeah. Now, this gate is an old old English English style gate, and I'm gonna just uh, yes yes uh, I use uh, I use white paint. Uh, I know that I know that I'm not supposed to you know. I don't know who told you that. I haven't seen a book yet that uh, that uh, hasn't told me that you can't use white. What the heck do you think they make it for? They make white for you to use white. Can't you understand that? Sure you can. If it says white watercolor on it, it means they want you to use it. And just can't understand people that don't want to use it. But anyway, I use whatever I can because I want a good painting. I'm after a good painting. I'm not after a record. I've already been there taking the photo. Now I want a painting of this. And this, again, is just a little snippet, uh, just a little, little small um, warm-up type of sketch. And uh, if it's got too much water on it, we'll just get a thirsty brush and pull some of that out, okay? How's that? All right. And uh, in back of this thing, if I remember right, there was a great big, they had a great big uh, oak tree. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Oh, sometimes I amaze myself. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Look at that nice. That's a shadow green. And it's a beautiful green. And that ran alongside the building. Yes, yes. Coming, dear. Yes, I'll be just a minute. Okay, now let's see if we can't, if we can just go ahead and and uh, let me map this out for you and just show you just in a matter of a few seconds how you've, you've practiced, and I'm going to give you the 20-minute drill. This is practice, but this is a practice good enough that you can cut this out and mat it. And then just cut it out, send it to your daughter in college. Say, see, this is what I did today. 
she's going to be so proud of you. She's going to put it all over the, the uh, refrigerator door. Sure. I know she is. My daughter did. Yeah. Then she asked, tell Daddy not to send anymore. I'm getting more room. So, but that's okay. Now, I'm using a little purple in here. I'm a colorist. We have some painters that are tonals, tonal painters. We have some uh, abstract painters. We have colorists. We have uh, all kind of people that, that are label certain things. I don't know why they label them, but they do. And uh, I just, uh, I'm just a colorist because I like color, you know. I just like color. And I've only used two brushes, and I'm going to put a little bit of blue back here, a little bit of manganese blue in a minute so that it doesn't look all the same. See, I don't want it all the same. And I'm sorry I'm taking so long, but... You know, you get old. What are you going to do? Uh, see, I mixed. I've got some warms, uh, cools over there, and I just ran a warm in just to be funny, see? Just to break it up. Okay? Can you see what's happening so far? Can you see it? Can you see it begin to pop out here? Where do we put all of these little tricks together? Yeah. We'll put them all together. And uh, here's, uh, here's a board comes down there, and this board comes down here, and then down there. And oh, look at that. See the boards coming out now? Mm-hmm. And don't make all the boards the same width. Make them different widths. They're more interesting. And then you might want to put a little knot there where the kid next door took his knife and he tried to cut the hole out there. And uh, yeah, he got in trouble all right, but uh, that's, uh, that's what happens, you know. Or it could have been an old piece of wood that was just laying around and it wasn't doing anything and okay can you see what I'm doing all I'm doing really is playing and I'm building up a little bit of a vignette and a vignette is, is misunderstood and I'll give you the correct uh, nomenclature or the correct for, for a vignette, see. But there we are. Okay. that. Now, certainly if you have any questions, please, uh, by all means, uh, you know, this is only a little snippet. This is just a little something to um, show you what you can do, and then you can add a picture to it, or you can keep going and make it a picture, and Oh, there's so many things you can do with this. You know, you know the key to being an artist? You know what the key is? I'm going to tell you. Two things. Persistence is one. Not talent. The world is full of talented derelicts. You know, they're all over the place. Persistence. You want to do it, you can do it. If you want to do it, you can do it. Just call us up. Whatever we can do to help you, that's what we're here for. That's what he, that's, 
That's all I'm here for is to help you, you know. Listen, I don't care. Email me or, you know, like I say, send it by homing pigeon or whatever. Just be sure to get a hold of me. I'll be glad to help you. Now, it may take a little bit because I'm on the road sometimes and, you know, you know what happens with us men's on the road. I'm in a very nice hotel right now. Uh, it's a Murphy bed. Now, I haven't been one of them in a long time. You get in bed and the doorknob goes with you. But it's uh, very comfortable. All right, so I'm putting in just a little, and I'm going to just break that up going down there. That's a loose board. See, that? that's a loose board that got tucked out under there. We lost that board. Young Johnny got that. Where does old man get some? All right, you see we've changed a little bit of color, and then I'm going to change even more color. Now, you people that got uh, pacemakers, be careful, because I'm just going to put this right in there. See that? Look at that. See the difference? You just put a little sparkle. doesn't have to be much, just a little sparkle that lights up your that lights up your uh, your little deal, see? Now, here's another trick, too. You can take, uh, I'll show it to you when I get a pencil. But you can take, you can take, uh, don't make, don't make these too large, see? You, you just want, and don't make them too, you, you know, just, these are big old stones. They've been up there since, uh, you know, since the Hadrian Wall. Since, uh, you know, you remember him, don't you? Was it Hadrian or Adrian? Yeah, that's who it was. Who do you play for, Cincinnati? Play for all those clubs, but anyway, see? And all you're doing is just and you don't have to do every one of them. Just can you see it coming along now? And then you put a few little little lighter. Okay, now I know that when you get to it, and then we put a few little things up in here and little weeds up in here and so on and a few weeds up in here and that type of thing, see? And uh, here I don't like them starting so I'll just... Just a simple little what I call uh, a warm-up sketch something that I'm going to use in the big panel, something that I'm going to use in the big, um, the foundation of things, all right? Well, I'm so glad to be here, and I'm glad you uh, decided to join me. I hope you do again. It's always so nice to have you. It really is. And uh, I hope Mary from, uh, where is she from? Hackensack, New Jersey. Yeah, I'm Mary from Hackensack. Remember, she, yeah, I remember Mary. Well, I hope you, uh, I hope you have a good time. If you have any questions, please call my studio. 